Mater's Brick Tales The Great Race Case is pretty sweet. This was released in 2011 to coincide with Cars 2. And being a fan of the Cars films and also loving Lego films and loving Mater as well, I, I knew I had to check this out. And it's it's pretty sweet. The whole thing is about two minutes maybe it's not very long so I don't want to go into a tremendous amount of detail but basically Mater is watching the race and he is roped into trying to stop these bad guys uh, who are going to sabotage the race and that's his job and I don't want to see any more than that because as I said it's very brief the narrative actually works very well within a short amount of time. It sounds like it's something that could be a lot more complicated, and certainly it could be, but I think within the time frame it was handled very well. Mater was as delightful uh, as always, of course, and he's voiced by Larry the Cable Guy. I, I do have a, a big soft spot for Mater. And as far as the Lego aspect goes and the stop motion, it's it's absolutely fine visually. It's quite appealing. There's a really good attention to detail. It's not as good as, say, some of the bigger budget feature length Lego films, but I wasn't expecting that anyway. But actually, for a short, uh, there's a lot of detail in it and I rather enjoyed it. So if you like Cars, or indeed Cars 2, then I'd say it's worth checking out. If you like Lego films, I think the Lego aspect of it might appeal to you. The stop motion was not too bad at all. We had quite a few other characters and cars, both in terms of uh, interacting with Mater and also other cars just watching the race and things. So a really nice attention to detail, a nice little story, and Mater was adorable too. There are, I think, two others in the in the Mater's Brick Tales series, and I will definitely watch those uh, at some point. But for now, I'm very happy to have seen The Great Race Case, and if you're a fan of cars or Lego, it's definitely worth checking out. <laughs> 